Something that you don't see every day, maybe you've never even seen this before. Record setting below zero temperatures turned this water tower in Kokomo into a waterfall. Yeah, you know, this all happened early this morning at the Chrysler plants on the city's south side. And while it may look interesting and pretty cool, a lot of folks there are asking, what went wrong and how is it going to be fixed? That's right. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk went to find some answers for you. This water tower has been standing here since 1955. In 64 years, Chrysler says it's never frozen, not even once, until this morning. I was just driving down the road, and I just noticed it, and I'm like, well, that looks weird. Weird and spectacular. Another driver stopped to record the water spewing from the top of the tower, cascading earthward, some of it turning to steam in the sub-zero temperatures. I was just, I kind of amazed, shocked. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing like it. Missy Gibson snapped a couple of pictures, and despite her amazement, hurried back into her warm car. It was really, really cold. About 11 degrees below zero. Kokomo hadn't been above zero for more than a day. Long enough and cold enough for the water tank to malfunction. I just think it just gave out. It just gave out. It gave out. It's a little more complicated. According to Chrysler, a valve regulating the water level inside the tank froze up. The tank filled up, but water kept pouring in, and then out of a relief valve on the top of the tank. It didn't stop until the sun came up and thawed the valve. The 150,000-gallon tank is a backup water supply for the massive plant's fire control system. Kokomo's fire department is aware of the problem. The waterfall didn't disrupt the manufacturing operation. 4,000 workers are still on the job. According to a Chrysler spokesperson, there's really nothing they can do about this. Can't make any repairs or clean things up until the weather warms and the ice melts. Rich Van White, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Oh yeah, you can see the ice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Probably had a bunch of people well, driving around. Wow. You can see it's all around the base of it too. guy taking a picture of it over there. <laughs> you can see like the stuff that's around the water tower mm -hmm. has ice oh, yeah. like frozen all over it. Another guy getting ready to take a picture of it. Okay, so what you just saw was the uh, water tower started leaking at Chrysler. My dad got a picture of it, and then I found some more pictures on the internet on the Kokomo Tribune website. I am also going to put a link in the description of the video to the article in the Kokomo Tribune so you can learn more about the water tower if you so desire. Also, um, the stuff that you see falling out of the water tower kind of looks like steam or uh, s smoke or something. That is the um, water, you know, falling out of the tower. And as the newsman said, news anchor said, the uh, water started to turn to like steam as it hit the ground and my dad's my dad works at Chrysler he said that 
the ice that, you know, like obviously when it hit the ground it froze immediately. There was eight inches of ice in the parking lot and they had to scoop it up with a backhoe. I hope you enjoyed this video of the Kokomo water tower, the, yeah, the, the Chrysler water tower in Kokomo. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, have a good day, and I'm going to go back inside because it's cold out.